Hey guys, back here from a pad here. I just wanted to give you a quick tip on when and how to use your pepper in the in the garden. So let's talk about what does not work, guys. It does not work on ants and worms and bugs and those things because they don't have the taste buds or glands that we have as mammals to feel the pain of the cap capsaicin. Capsaicin, I can't even pronounce it, but you know what makes the pepper spicy they don't have that so you just waste any pepper however what it does work on it works on mammals so it works on rabbits on squirrels on raccoons you know you just take your pepper out here i have my bag my my um nasberries already covered because i lost i lost 17 of my 22 nasberries to squirrels so i covered what what was left but then I'm just sprinkling over the bag just in case they come in and, you know, trying to bite it through the bag. I want to make sure I get them because my sister, she had hers covered and they bit right through the bag and, and dragged the bag off. So I'm just sprinkling on top of my bags with pepper. So if they bite in, they're going to feel that pain and run. So any really spicy pepper works. Um, the spicier, the better. Um, I know that cayenne pepper works. You can even go to the dollar store. But this is what I'm using for this. Um, also, what, what, let me tell you where else it doesn't work. So chickens are not mammals. Chickens are actually birds. So chickens don't feel the pain. They don't, they don't, literally don't feel the pain of pepper, right? So you can feed a chicken. Some people feed their chicken cayenne pepper. They actually sp spread cayenne pepper or other spicy pepper in their feed during the winter to raise their body temperature so they can keep warm. They can be warmer during the winter. So... This is not going to do anything to hurt the chickens. I mean, to deter the chickens from eating your plants. So if you have chickens, this doesn't work. Chickens are birds and they don't feel it. I don't know about other birds. I'm assuming the same for other birds. However, I'm using my extra protection. I'm putting my bags, sprinkling my, my fruit with that. I've also done this with my papayas. Um, I have some papayas that are just coming in now. Um, not the large papaya trees, but I have some smaller ones that are giving their first fruit. So I went, uh, went through and sprinkled all the fruit. Um, the thing that you have to think about, of course, guys, when you're actually harvesting your fruit, be sure to wash it, wash it well because the pepper will burn and just make sure it doesn't seep into the skin. You know, you want to wash it well. I also sprinkled my, um, my sugar apples or my sweet sap. But of course, for sweet sap, we don't eat the skin, we're gonna peel the skin off. And even nasberries, depending on how soft the nasberry skin is, usually people peel the nasberry, so I'm not too worried about that, but that's something to consider. Um, sprinkling my papaya should be fine because I can just peel the skin. So if you have, um, if you have, say you have worms, or you have white flies, and you have, you know, aphids, those kind of things, um, I know you guys already know this, but for my newer gardeners, try neem oil. Okay, make sure you get some organic neem oil. You can see here it, it, it fights boars, which are those horrible vine boars that can mess up your, um, your brassicas. So it fights boars, it fights leaf rust, powdery mildew, white flies, spider mites, and uh, guys, it, it fights a whole aphids. So it fights a whole bunch of stuff. So this is really great. And what I like about neem oil is that it also it also kills the eggs. So it doesn't just kill the um, the bugs, but it kills their eggs. So ah, we are constantly battling these bugs in our garden. But guys, don't give up. Keep on trying. You know there are different things for different different um, things depending on what you're trying to. There are many other organic things, but these are just the two things that I want to talk about today. We're about to start our fall crops, and we want to make sure we stay ahead of these bugs. We may lose some, but we don't want to lose all our good produce to insects. So hope you guys enjoy this. Till next time. Bye now.